past few years there have been some TikTok food trends that absolutely blow up and I'm gonna try a few of those. Let's start with breakfast. I will start with pancake cereal. I remember it was a huge trend in the first lockdown. I never made it because I was too lazy. But today is the day. First we make a normal pancake batter, flour, a little protein powder, baking powder, some vegan yogurt and plant milk. Now this is our batter and I will have to make many 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 mini pancakes. I will take about one teaspoon. As toppings I will use some strawberries and a little chocolate. Here we go. Did making this take like forever? Yes. Will I make it again? Probably not. But I gotta say it looks very, very cute. Mm. It is definitely delicious. I mean, pancakes are always good. Mm. But it's too much effort for my taste. <laughs> Leftover rice. You know what that means. I'll be making Emily Mariko's incredibly viral salmon rice bowl. Of course, vegan. I don't have a microwave, so I'm gonna heat up the rice in a pod. A little water. Instead of salmon, I will use tofu. I will slice it in half, like this. And I will fry them in some oil until golden brown. For toppings, I will chop this cucumber and cut some nori into rectangles and avocado. Ooh, she's gorgeous. For assembling, we take the tofu and sort of mash it with a fork, the rice. And I guess now the key ingredients to make this taste like something, a little soy sauce, vinegar, and sriracha mayo and mix. Okay, I'm a little skeptical. Let's get a little bit of everything and then we can try. Hmm. It's definitely more delicious than I thought. I was worried it would be sort of bland and boring, but it's, it's actually really good. I like it. <laughs> Recently I've seen a lot of people making Snickers dates and you know me. I love dates stuffed with peanut butter so I thought I have to try this trend. I'm using Mazafati dates. I like them even more than Medjool dates and I will pit them now. Then take one date, add some peanut butter plus chopped peanuts. Like this. Sorry, I have to kill you. This is some leftover Easter chocolate and I'm just gonna melt that in a water bath. Until it looks like that. Then take the date and coat it with the chocolate. Ta-da! And I will freeze them until the chocolate has hardened. Let's see. It looks really good. <laughs> You can really see those different layers. I think I nailed it. <laughs> Taste test. <laughs> yep, my favorite kind of date. <laughs> mm, but it's really good. Baked feta pasta. Do I need to say more? I don't think so, but we'll make it vegan. For my vegan feta, I will use silken tofu, pork, a little oil, nutritional yeast, some garlic powder, salt, and lemon juice. The following steps are ridiculously easy. Cherry tomatoes to a baking dish. Season a little. Our vegan fake feta. I will add a little drizzle of agave. And then put it in the oven for like 20, 30 minutes. Bye. 10 minutes are left. So I will cook my pasta. Hands down spaghetti is the best pasta shape, period. It's looking good. It looks like the cheese is melted. <laughs> and now you're gonna grab a fork and smash it down. 
half. So it's going in and mix it. Ooh, it's getting really creamy. Let's plate it up. The baked feta pasta is back and it's looking really, really good. It turned out really creamy, creamier than I expected. Cheers. This is good. It doesn't taste like tofu at all. I just sort of improvised, but well done, Maya. <laughs> so you might want to try this at home. It's really good. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Time for breakfast. This lava baked oatmeal recipe get almost 1 million likes, so it better be good. This is already pre-made oat flour. I will also add a little protein powder, some baking powder, stir. I don't have banana, so I'm adding some vegan yogurt and plant milk. Add it to an oven dish. Take some vegan chocolate and put it right in the middle as chocolate core and bake. Mm, actually, I wanted to make a chocolate version, but I forgot cocoa powder. <laughs> it would smell so good in here. Let's try. Really easy to make and like a cake for breakfast. And even though I forgot the cocoa powder, it's still really good. <laughs> Hailey Bieber's pizza toast just blew up on TikTok. It also looked really delicious. So I will have that for lunch now. Of course, vegan. First, we're gonna slice the tomato and dress with some olive oil, lemon juice, salt and pepper. And set aside. Toast the bread until golden brown. So Haley uses burrata. I won't because I'm vegan, but I had another idea. So this is tofu and I will cut it into slices. Then it goes on the toasted bread with some vegan cheese. And this will hopefully imitate my burrata. Now tomato on top. Then we'll bake these for a bit. And in the meantime, I can make my marinara. I will simply season the passata with salt, pepper, garlic powder, dried oregano and basil. Nice. It smells good in here. Now we're gonna add the marinara. This is vegan Parmesan cheese, finished with dried oregano. And I even got red pepper flakes. And bada boom bada bam, Hailey Bieber's pizza toast. And let's take a bite. I'm really excited. Oh. I really like that one. <laughs> of course, my tofu cheese combination is not exactly like burrata, but it's but it adds this creamy, cheesy touch. I think I will have it more often. <laughs> I washed all these grapes really, really well. And I've seen a lot of people freezing them to make sort of candy out of it. So let's try. Obviously we'll need green grapes. Then some lime juice to have that sweet and sour feeling. And now we'll freeze them for a few hours. See you. The grapes are frozen. You don't know how excited I am about trying these. <laughs> let's give them a taste test. It's really good. <laughs> it tastes almost like candy, like a little sour and sweet on the inside. I think this is also a very nice treat in summer. A really cool quick snack idea. 1.7 million likes. I never thought that a salad could go that viral, but apparently everything is possible. So let's make the green goddess salad. We'll start by finely chopping cucumber, cabbage and chives. Now the all-important dressing. Into my blender goes one shallot and two cloves of garlic, spinach, chives and fresh basil, lemon juice, a little vinegar, olive oil, walnuts and cashews, and season. Power on! 
add it to the bowl. It looks just like in the video. So for dinner, we served it with fresh homemade focaccia and vegan chicken. Let's get it on some focaccia and let's try. Yeah, it tastes really good. I think it's worth the hype. It's very easy to prepare. It's probably really healthy and a really good salad. <laughs> so feel free to try this. <laughs> 